Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a beautiful website on WordPress in 2017 in under 20 minutes. So the first thing you do is click on the link in the description to get to DigitalOcean. This is their website right here. The link in the description, when you deposit $5 onto their site, it'll give you 15 so you basically get three months of hosting for the price of one, which is an awesome deal. So what you're going to do is hit sign up right here, but since I already have an account, I'm going to hit log in. And now that I'm logged in, I'm going to hit create droplet right here. And I'm going to go to one click apps right here. And select WordPress 4.7 on 16.04. For this tutorial, I'm going to use $5 a month, which will be fine for a starter site. But as you get bigger, you may want to increase the price here, but I'm just going to stay with $5. Now you're going to click the closest place to you, so mine's going to be New York 3. Um, you just pick whatever one's closest to you, so San Francisco, Amsterdam, Singapore, so on. You don't need any anything to do with any of this, and I'll just name it WordPress site or whatever the name of your site's going to be. But you can't use space or anything, so. Uh, or you can do like .com if you already have your domain and all that. But this is what I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to hit create. Once you do that, you should see a little loading bar right here. And then once this is complete, you will receive an email with the login for your site, as well as the IP and all that. It could take a minute because this is a one-click one install app. So it will take a moment. It's almost done. And it's done. So now we're going to copy this URL and paste it in here at the top. Oops. Sorry about that. Enter. Now it can't be. There we go. So we're gonna have to drop it, uh, log into our droplet via, via SSH to enable our WordPress installation. So what this means is we're gonna have to go to Putty, and I think I can just search it here. I'm gonna run this. I'll also have the link for this down in the description. Now we're actually, actually gonna go to my email and get the information. So the IP address. They sent me an email. I won't be able to actually show you guys that. You're gonna hit no. For login, you're going to put root, enter, and for the password, I'm just going to copy it in here. So, to pay, to cop, to sorry, to paste it into a putty window, you need to right click and hit enter. Then you're going to right click, and hit enter again. Now we're going to set our new password. Retype our new password. So this is literally the hardest thing on this type thing. Now you can close this putty window and delete it from your computer. And I'll just refresh this. Now we're going to select English for our website. And we're going to call the site title. We're going to say. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to call this website. We'll just say. White. Arrow. YT. Okay. We're actually going to copy this. I'm going to put this on my notes right here. Hold on a second. Throw that on my notes. And we're just going to do our email right there. And you do not want to click this. If you're making the site for, um, actually here, this too. Okay, so, sorry. So right here, if you want this site to be found in Google, do not click this. If you, if you, or if you do not want this site to be found in Google or any other search engine, click this. But for most people, you want to leave that unticked. And you're going to hit install WordPress. Now, what this is doing is... I'm just going to save this to be done with it. We'll hit login. And login. So, the first thing you're going to do is notice that this is to customize your website. This left bar right here. This dashboard will show you all the information about your site. Like if there's comments or anything on into your post. This top bar is basically just for viewing your website. And this is actually one update. So if you see that little thing up there, you can just hit uh, select all update plugins. Okay, the plugins are updated. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually we'll leave that. We'll go back to the dashboard. The first thing we're actually going to do is go to appearance, themes. And basically these are just some default themes. I wouldn't really use any of the default ones. To see this, the theme right now, I'm just going to hit visit site. I'm going to open a new window. This theme actually isn't too bad. 
this, uh, I think this is the 2017 one. Yeah, the 2017 theme isn't too bad, uh, but it's still not really my favorite. It's kind of a good starter theme. You can hit add new theme right here. Now you can have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of themes. You can choose from like popular. And you can just go through basically any of these themes. So the first the one we're actually going to use in this video is called BizLight. And it's going to be this one right here. I'm going to hit install. And you can also use BizPlose if you want that. And you're going to hit activate. And now this actually just changed my entire site to use this uh, BizLight theme. So if I refresh, it'll use, start using this theme. And it has a little slider so it has like different pictures up here at the top. So that's really nice. So what we're actually going to do is go back to this. And we're going to do Appearance and Customize. And this will take you to the page of how you customize everything on your entire website. So you could do um, Site Identity right here. On WordPress, so I can change that, and it'll change it right here at the top. Uh, you can add, uh, upload a site icon, just be like the logo, basically. Uh, the small logo to appear is like right here. As you see, there's nothing there right now; it's just a piece of paper. As well as the actual logo for the site. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on this theme. Uh, so you can enable and disable the, the title and tagline here, just like that. So it takes it off. I'm going to re-add those. Oops, stay, save and publish. And go back to the customize page. And here you can actually change the colors, the background images. So if you want to change the slider images, that's right here. Uh, the menus, the widgets. So the widgets are like the little squares, like um, like the recent post there right here. That's a widget. Um, so yeah, you guys can go through this and change whatever you want to make the site look however you want. And so the diff only difference, there's two different things that people get confused on. The difference between posts and pages. Posts are like for blogs, like they're, they're dated posts that say like, um, I went here on this day, kind of like this, where it says, come and sail away with me. It has like a little information, a picture. It'll have an author's name and like a, a, a time when it was posted. A page is kind of like a business page, like what you'd see on the front of like apple.com or google it would just be a single page that doesn't have any post or information like when it was posted or anything like that uh... your comments this is actually going to show you like if someone comments on your blog post what they said so now to do that we're going to make our first post so we're going to do post and we're going to do add new okay, let's see okay so now we're going to say There we go. And this will be our first post. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit publish. And now our first post is up. So now if we go here and refresh, you can see our first post. And I can click on it and just basically see it. It looks kind of plain right now because I didn't really do much. But you could also leave a comment. Someone could do that and then post comment. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to page and add new and for this page we're going to do something like home so this is if you don't want to actually make a blog you're going to do po uh, pages and we're not going to put any information here for like the national page content you're going to hit publish and now we're going to go to settings and reading so First thing you'll see is front page display. If you want, if it says your latest post, this is gonna be for any kind of like blog or anything like that. A static page is gonna be if you're just making a website for a business. So in this case, we're gonna do change it to static page. We're gonna do front page, home, and then we're gonna do save changes. And now instead of that, we're gonna see our home page. Sorry, let me remove all this. Now we'll see a home page where it's going to say our services, and it'll be more like a business page. And you can change this, and also you can take the latest news off the bottom here. This is just where your posts are going to show. But it's pretty good for a business page to have little posts. So we're, and now we're actually going to make an about us page. So we'll go back to pages, and hit add new. We'll say about us. I don't really have anything typed up here, but we can just say like 
Let's type some random stuff in. And we'll hit publish. Now the first thing we're actually going to do after publishing that is go to appearance and menus. So we're actually going to make a menu name right here and we're just going to call this menu 1 and create menu. And now we'll select a home and about us and hit add to menu. We want home to be in front of about us. We'll drag that up. You just pick them up and drag them like this to position them. And then we'll hit save menu. Once that's done, we'll refresh the site. And now you'll see our menu back up here. And I'm actually going to remove... I can remove sample page later. Now you can see the about us. And I don't know why it... Oh, sorry. I got those mixed up. believe I'm not sure why it doesn't want to change but it should be just fine um, so now that you have the menu done we're actually gonna make a contact us page but to do that we need a plug-in so what we're gonna do is go to plugins and hit add new and you can search from pop popular plugins and stuff here like there's tons of plugins for you to choose from but in this case, we're actually going to use contact form 7, which is, oh, is right there, but I just missed it. We're going to hit install now and activate. Go to active and we'll actually go to the settings tab for this plugin. And you should see something here that says uh, short code and it says contact form this. You're going to copy that contact form, so I'll right click and hit copy. And then we'll go to pages and add new. We're going to con uh, name this one contact us. And just in the text editor, you're going to paste in the contact us form. And you're going to hit publish. So the next thing we're actually going to do is go back to the appearance and the menus. And you see the contact us page, we're going to check that and hit add to menu. And now that that's done, we will save menu and refresh our site. And you'll see the contact us right here at the top. And if you push that, it'll bring you to a contact page. It'll get sent directly to your email that you use for WordPress. If you don't want to send to that email, you can go to the settings for WordPress and actually change that uh, for um, the contact form. So, yeah. The next thing you're going to do is basically just customize all your information in the customize tab here and your site's completely ready and set up to go. So basically, I made this video how to set up a site in less than 20 minutes, but it's actually been less than 15 minutes. So thank you guys for watching and please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I can help you guys install it if you just contact me on Skype, uh, Discord, Steam, any of those ways or just in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.